Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, it's me, Alexa, and we are here with another video. For today's video is going to be on a mini Sephora haul. So I'm just gonna share with you guys some products that I recently, that I recently purchased. Ah. So today I'm gonna share with you guys some products that I recently purchased from Sephora. Like I said, it's a mini haul, it's not a lot, but if you're interested, then just keep on watching this video. But before we do get into the products, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, come join your girl's family, and do not forget to hit that notification bell, that way you're notified when I am uploading a video. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first product that I'm gonna mention, I've already taken it out its box because I've been using it, and it's going to be this lotion here. It's from Necessaire, I hope I'm saying the brand right, the body lotion, and this is just how it looks here white tube and this is how many fluid ounces 6.8 fluid ounces and in the back it says for your body multivitamin moisture nourish and strengthen the body lotion is a daily multivitamin moisturizer for skin health apply all over body massage until absorbed now i really actually do enjoy this lotion i've been using it for about a week or so i want to say recently purchased it and i purchased it because i actually seen it on a few channels here a few people did mention this brand in general a few of their um body products so i went to sephora and i picked up this lotion now there's no scent so if you are someone who likes a scented lotion because you kind of like to layer on scents this has absolutely no scent whatsoever but i think that the lotion is actually phenomenal the consistency is nice and thick but yet it still absorbs into the skin and i feel like the best thing of all it is not greasy it is not oily it does not leave that nasty well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say nasty but it doesn't leave that oily residue on your skin on your body some people do like that now that's why i said i don't want to say nasty because some people do kind of like to feel a little bit more moisturized on the oilers on the oily side me personally i hate that i actually do have a lotion from aveeno it's the um purple one and it's the lavender something or whatever so i do actually like the lotion but i feel like it has that residue so i've been looking for a new lotion and really really love this one i also have the um what's the brand I forgot the brand i'm gonna leave a picture here so you guys know what i'm talking about now that lotion it is finished or so almost finished but what i realized about with that lotion is i do like the consistency of it but it's just something that when you use that lotion and then if you happen to use let's say maybe another lotion for your hands or for something it gives like a weird or actually no i'm lying it is not that lotion scratch that <laughs> but i am gonna leave the picture of that lotion here so you guys know what i'm talking about almost done with that lotion i actually did enjoy that lotion too it is more scented but this one here i am actually loving now when you purchase it i feel like the box can kind of be a little um it throws you off because you're like am i paying this much for this little lotion but it's actually not that small and like i said a little goes a long way you don't need a lot of this so i think it is something that you know it's gonna last now me i don't like lather my body in lotion because i just hate to feel i like to look and feel moisturized but i hate the feeling of so much lotion so yeah it's kind of weird but anyways definitely check this lotion out highly recommend it like i said unscented but it actually feels really good on the body the next product that i'm going to mention is going to be the bio sans squil squil squalane squalane amino aloe gentle cleanser this has amino acid complex and aloe deeply cleansed without over high over drying the skin and here it says um get a deep cleanse and feeling of fresh skin without over drying without over drying a powerful amino acid complex breaks down and dissolves makeup while gentle aloe vera leaf juice and sugar cane derived squid squalane please correct me in the comments calm and hydrate so this is it this is just how the box look box looks here so i have tried this brand before i've tried their moisturizer it's probably one of my top three moisturizers they have two kinds they have one that's more hydrating and then one that's a gel texture i personally like the gel texture just because i do have really oily skin so although i still like to hydrate i don't like to be over hydrated you know what i'm saying so this is just how it looks here 
beautiful i think if you're like kind of someone who likes to display your skincare on a vanity or in your bathroom or something this is absolutely beautiful it is luxe it is not glass although it looks like it is it is plastic which is amazing and it has a pump which is also amazing does it have a smell i don't know let's see it has a clean smell it smells like it's it's clean it smells like it you can smell kind of like that aloe vera it's a clean smell um so yeah i personally love this brand like i said i've tried their moisturizer <sighs> have i ever tried anything else i feel like i did but then again i could be wrong but so far this is the second product i've also seen this mentioned on it is rosita apple bum here i hope i said the name right here on youtube she has really sensitive skin so she actually mentioned this cleanser a bunch of a with a bunch of their other products within the same line like i said i've only tried their moisturizer but um that definitely encouraged me to buy this since it is clean and gentle on the skin love a good moisturizer i mean cleanser i don't like anything harsh on my skin because my skin i don't want to say it's the most sensitive skin but it does react quickly if something just doesn't work with it now i'm not really like a gentle Excuse me, my phone. Okay, so I totally lost track of what I was saying. But nonetheless, definitely I'm gonna try this, see how I like it, see how it works. Like I said, I do really like their moisturizer. Both of them, the gel one and the cream texture one. I did have both of them. I had one time accidentally purchased the cream one. And I think I even mentioned it one time on my channel in an older video. But definitely wanna try this, give this a go, see how it works. Like I said, it is definitely eye-catching, super cute, and yeah. Let's see what it does. So the next thing that I purchased is going to be this Briogeo. I hope that's how you say it. Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now I did not purchase the full size bottle. I purchased this here. I want to say this is kind of like the deluxe size. I wouldn't say sample size, more so like a little deluxe sample size. And this here is very, very famous, very popular, highly rated deep conditioner. So I was looking for a good deep conditioner for my hair. And I was like, I do want to try this before I actually fully purchase full purchase the full size they do have a few other ones i know they have the avocado mask one too that i've heard really good things about i hear really good things about this brand in general and i kind of want to branch out a little bit more into higher end hair products i am a panting girl just because i personally love how it works with my hair and it smells really good um so i dibble and dabble more so in kind of the drugstore beauty supply store um hair products but I definitely want to try a little bit more you know luxury higher brand products um and definitely heard so much good things about this Brio Geo like I said I hope I'm saying it right and this is no harsh sulfates no silicones no parabens and in the back it says let's see okay don't despair repair blends rose hip sweet almond and argan oils with vitamin b5 and biotin to revitalize dry damaged hair while protect while protecting against future damage shine and moisture are enhanced so hair looks and feels visibly healthier and stronger usage after shampoo spot massage um into hair from root to tip leave in for 10 minutes so like your typical kind of instructions for hair masks now I'm a type of person depending on the day the time what i'm doing i may leave a hair mask in for overnight i may leave it in for two days sometimes you don't want to do too much because i've also heard from professional beauty hair stylists that you don't want to leave in hair mask treatments or treatments in general for too long because they can't strip the hair i could be wrong i don't know if that's true or not but definitely have heard that but like i said I am one that I will leave a mask if I'm not doing anything the next day and I'm just kind of in that like self-care routine kind of day, I will leave a mask in overnight, take it out the next day, and then boom, do it from there. But 10 minutes, well, 30 minutes, however long, if you're just going to leave it in for a day, and then yeah, hopefully, typically for me, I notice if products are good right away. It doesn't take me so much time i could legit wash it if a product is just that good i could legit wash it right now do it da, 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 and i know okay this is amazing and sometimes it takes time um i feel like it i feel like when it comes to like things that technically are supposed to make your hair grow or or things like that 
that could take a little bit more time but in terms of like moisture and shine i feel like that's something that you should see immediately if a product does really work as it says it does so let's see what this is also about so the last product that i'm going to mention is going to be a perfume and this is going to be the vanilla woods the seven virtues and this one is the rollerball so I've heard so much people speak about this. I do want to do, although I did two other perfume videos, I do want to do a little fall scented perfume haul. And this is definitely one that is fall appropriate for sure. The only downside for me is it's a rollerball and I personally love sprays. I feel like sometimes the rollerball either it doesn't project too much product. It could be kind of cheapy or just not good or some of them are good but I personally prefer a spray but like I said this is a rollerball so I typically just go on the back of my neck like so and you know all over shoulders and uh, you know all over so this smells oh my god this smells so good it's like a perfect vanilla it's not like a straight up vanilla bean it's just like that perfect cashmere kind of vanilla now let me read let me see here it says okay so look at me i'm all over so it goes vanilla woods with organic fair trade vanilla essential oil from madagascar madagascar and then here it says best for alleviating stress calming soothing to the overworked to the overworked and then this says story this perfume supports local education and health care so not really sure what all of that means um but yeah let me see on the box if it has like some notes hmm no it pretty much just says with vanilla so i guess this is just like a straight up vanilla no notes of anything else not sure but this smells so so good um like i said the only downside is that it's a rollerball to me i like a spray but if that doesn't bother you then that's not a downside to you Smells really good, really nice for the fall, for the night, for that nice cozy. Think of like a cozy in front of a pot fireplace. You're like, you know, typical but like hot chocolate and, you know, roasting marshmallows. Like this just gives me that kind of cozy winter, fall, fun vibe. So definitely want to pick this up. Didn't pick it up in the full size because I really wanted to see how it adhesives to my skin and all that good stuff because I do have some other vanilla scented perfumes. So before I actually went and splurged on the bigger size, just kind of wanted to see how the smaller size just upholds. But like I said, I do want to do another like kind of little mini fragrance haul on four fragrances. And I say mini because it's not going to be so, so much because I am still like a sweet scented perfume, but still want to do that. So be on the lookout for that um but yeah definitely love this the seven virtues if you've heard a lot about it if you're more of a blind buy kind of person i definitely recommend this i do think you'll like it if you kind of like that vanilla cashmere kind of amber scent although this says this only has vanilla i don't feel like it's that strong vanilla i feel like there's something in it that kind of tones it to be like that perfect smooth vanilla but definitely do recommend it so guys that wraps up this video like i said it was a mini sephora haul there were other products that i was looking for i actually did go into stores to get these because sometimes shipping could take a little longer than it should so i did go into stores to make sure that i'm able to film this video on time and they didn't have everything i wanted so i could only get what they had in stock but nonetheless i am still satisfied and i am ready and excited to try out these products and see how they do and work but once again guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for still writing out with me and joining my family and if you did not hit that subscribe button i mean it is free do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join my family and that notification bell and until next time i will see you in my next video bye guys